Hi everyone, I'm here with Ellie. Ellie has actually been a close friend of mine for about a year now. Uh, we met a year ago here at the Fit and Fabulous Mom Contest with Laura London. And, you know, it's always interesting because I, I'm able to share my testimony with people and, you know, it's always great to hear what the response is, but people don't understand that I, I am motivated by so many people in my life. And in terms of the fitness industry, there's certain people that really have made an impact in my life. And that's one of them right here, is Ellie. We met a year ago, he told me a little bit of a story, then I went online and checked his story, and before he was even on People Magazine, I was already impacted by his story. 300 pounds, he lost 110 pounds. Uh, I was have the blessing of judging with him today, but I want to know what's, you know, first of all, in terms, I know you told your testimony a hundred times, but in terms of what you're doing right now, motivational speaking, um, you know, TV shows, TV appearance, but I want to know what is your purpose right now? What is, now you lost the pound, now you lost the weights, everything like that, what is going to be your purpose now going forward, moving forward? David, thank you, first of all, for those very kind words. Um, in a nutshell, uh, I want to be able to leave a legacy for my children and for the, my immediate community and hopefully be able to impact you know, the, the greater population of the U.S. and the world. There's a huge obesity epidemic uh, in the U.S. Uh, primarily. And the truth is that I have found my passion in being able to inspire, motivate, and teach others that this can be done. Not only through me, but through other people like yourself uh, with, with different motivational and inspirational stories. Um, I think we're all a big family in this world. And if you ask me what my goal is, my goal is to leave a legacy. Is to be able to say when, uh, you know, in 120 years when I pass, hopefully, that, and they inter me that at my funeral they say, this guy, this guy made a dent in the obesity epidemic. So, in a nutshell, and in my grandeur of biggest goals, that would be it. And now, you, certainly you mentioned kids. Yes. So, the kids are a very important thing, and you happen to have how many I have kids? Three, I have three kids, um, 17, 14, and 10. And uh, honestly, when I was 300 pounds and ill uh, with all of these different illnesses that are uh, basically due, be, due to obesity, uh, the first thing I thought of was my children thinking, I'm not going to be around to see them. You know, maybe I'll be 50, maybe I'll be 60 tops, but if I continue in that path, and I want to teach kids also, you know, starting with my own, sometimes it's not so easy to, to teach your own children things and to impact their lives like that, but uh, hopefully in some time they will learn and they will pass it on, and, and other children, and adults, parents, it's very important that, you know, we take care of our bodies, uh, because this is where we live. Absolutely, it's our temple. You know, a lot of people probably come up to you and you, you know, you tell them that you made a choice, you can do anything, and you do it. It took a lot. I, you know, one thing probably no one's ever asked you, how do your children see you? And how do they see you before? And how do they see you now? You know, that's a, the, you're probably right. Nobody's ever asked me that question. Um, I think my kids are proud of me. Um, I hope they are. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things that impacted me the most was not too long ago, uh, I can't remember which of my children, I think two of them, as a matter of fact, we were looking at one of my before pictures, uh, which is pretty dramatic from what I look like it is, now. It is. It's the total uh, opposite of my story. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. You were... You were 124. You know, right, yeah. exactly. Um, and my kid said, wow, oh, I remember, yes. We were going through pictures so that I can uh, do like before and after things and, and some of the news stories wanted uh, different pictures. That's and funny. Right. And one of my kids said, Dad, I don't even remember you like that. So it's like, it's a new me, and I think they respect me for it, and um, they definitely support me. And they're, they're really my number one focus. When I think of everything that I do, you know, I think, how is this going to affect my kids? Are they going to be proud of me, or are they going to be like, ugh, that's me, you know, I don't want to be associated with my dad. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to have three great kids, and I'm blessed to uh, be able to have them say, Dad, you're doing amazing things, and you're really amazing. I think they're going to be proud of you and for a long, long time because they're going to see you as a father, but they're going to see you in the public eye. And when they see you in the public eye, hopefully their, their friends are going to be talking about you. And they're, they're going to be able to see two people. Um, but, you know, it's, I, 
I meet people all the time and they say, I lost 50 pounds, I lost 100 pounds. And, you know, to go through that journey and what you're doing is very influential because most people don't detail their journey and most people don't share their journey. I, you know, people always say, well, why don't you stop talking about cancer? Cancer was your path. No, cancer was my purpose. And that's what I, it became my blessing because now I'm able to share with the world. And that's how I'm making my dent. In your case, you lost 110 pounds. And instead of just sitting there and going, living your life and letting maybe your ego or, or, or anything come up because now you're in shape, you're the looking guy, you're this, you're that. You focus and said, this is my purpose, what I have to do, and not only for my kids, but because well, I, I need to share my story. I truly believe that my having gone through uh, the obesity and having gone through the illness and having gone through the, the, the challenges of, of being overweight has brought me to where I am now. You said you talk about a purpose. I didn't really have a purpose in life. I went through the motions. Uh, and now I have a purpose, I have a mission, and I have a goal. And it's something that, I'll tell you what, if I never made a dollar from this, I yes. could, I'd no, continue no. doing it. Yeah, because you because get joy from other people. 100%, and to be able to see, this is about empowering. We're here judging this Fit and Fabulous Mom contest, and many people would see, oh, this is you know very shallow. It's actually not. These moms, these moms, these ladies that come up here, are, you know, they're showing that it's not just about fitness, it's not just about losing weight. Yes, I lost 110 pounds, but I gained so much more. And their confidence. Confidence and, and in just in, in outlooks in life, and, uh, you know, and I lost a lot of negative things also. So, you know, I lost weight, I lost negative things, and I gained positivity and so many other things, you know. Well, listen, it's a pleasure calling you my friend. Thank you, brother. And may God bless all this that you're doing, your journey. And, you know, I'm always around if Thank you ever you, need brother. anything. But, man, Thank I you want so to much. continue to pray for you Thank because you, you have a long way to go, man. This Thanks is just the beginning. Bro. I appreciate it, It's just man. the beginning. We're just and starting. You, and, We're and, just and, starting. And you'll be there right next to We're me, We're just bro. starting, man. Yeah. This is just the beginning, so get excited about <laughs> it. Well.